choo choo, chugga chugga choo choo. Every time we hear a train, my family stops and yells, train! My three-year-old son immediately stops what he's doing and with as much excitement as he can muster, yells, where, where? And this goes on almost every day. We live by a train track. My daughter's school is near a train track. And my son's school is near a train track. A day does not go by that we do not hear the familiar woo woo sound that makes my son miss a beat. I have a secret about my son. I don't talk about it. For fear I will sound crazy or that the feeling will come to a fruition. When he was born, everything was wonderful. But somehow, in the months following, I had a premonition that my son was going to be a tragedy in my life. I have no idea why I felt this dread. It was more of a matter of fact than something I harped on, but it stuck. I only told a few people. I shook it off and thought I was being silly. But the idea of, having, of him having a tragic situation at a young age stuck in the recesses of my mind and my soul. I had recently told a friend about this feeling I had, and then I dis dismissed it, as I always did. Soon after, the day came when I missed a beat. We went to Strasburg Railroad for the Santa train when my son was two. He was in awe. The boy was in love. Huge steam engine puffing smoke, wheels bigger than he was. It was heaven for him. There were all, 14 of us, standing around waiting to get on the train. My two-year-old son was in the middle of all of us. Then it was time to get on the train, and he was gone. Where's Dylan? Where's Dylan? Horrible thoughts ran through my head. How could he disappear? My first thought was that he was inspecting the hot steam engine from beneath. Was the train going to start to move? Were the parts underneath hot? I took off to the front of the train to the steam engine that he was obsessed with. I ran, hyperventilating, yelling his name, tears streaming down my face. I heard nothing of the crowd, nothing of the train. I was only listening for my son's familiar, Mama, I thought, this is it. This is my tragedy. This is when my nightmare begins. This is where my life will never be the same again. I ran harder, faster, screaming, knowing in my core that if this was it, if this is what I had felt in my soul, I would not be able to handle it. Then, as I neared closer, there was no sign of him. I thought he was taken. I thought of everything. I stopped breathing. The world stopped for a split second. He's gone. My baby is gone. My nightmare is here and I have no idea what the next step is. My heart stopped. I turned, searching, not knowing where to look, not knowing what to do. It felt like forever had passed, when in reality it was probably only a minute. Then I began to wail. Screams from inside, letting themselves out in full force. My body was shaking from fear and confusion. I was feeling lightheaded. Every inch of my body was involved in this horrible moment. I was wailing and crying so hard that I didn't hear my brother-in-law screaming. Then I heard, we found him. And I turned around, and there he was. The blood began to rush into my body, and I squeezed him tight and didn't want to let him go. I scolded him for walking away, while at the same time whispering in his ear, don't ever leave. Don't ever leave my heart again. I sobbed. He had gone behind a building and was looking at another train. I held him for the next hour, which he didn't like at all because he was on a train. <laughs> In the days following, I began to wonder if that was the tragedy. And over the next year, the feeling went away. He still makes my heart stop frequently because he is a boy and likes to be a daredevil but mostly because he's the sweetest thing on earth and I just love him so.